Hello everybody, West Country Explorer here and this video I'm at Lambert's Castle so yeah, just inside Dorset so Devon Dorset Board is not too far away from where I am so yeah, I'm having an absolutely lovely morning out on my bicycle in the countryside as you can see lovely weather oh blinding myself a bit there <laughs> yeah lovely lovely weather absolutely it's October and it's sunny lovely beautiful weather and i'm an englishman talking about the weather once again <laughs> like us englishmen often do but yes guys i'm at lambert's castle so i'm going to show you around this old iron age hill fort i'm also going to be going to another one less than a mile down the road going to castle that's going to be another video so yeah guys hope you enjoy just over there in the that corner over there that's where the car park is so yeah just over there you could probably hear the traffic a little bit that's where the the road is main road i said this is a ah bridget just poked my ankle against a blinking thistle <laughs> that made me scream a bit yeah, so yeah, <laughs> sorry about that guys, um, yes, so this is a, now uh, this bit here where I am, we aren't quite at the Iron Age Hell Fort bit yet, we'll soon be getting to where the earthworks are and all the rest, but this is a part of the open top area, the hilltop, part of the hilltop. <laughs> be jabbering on about open top area probably get you guys thinking what on earth is he going on about <laughs> so yeah it's um the trees around here blocking a bit of the views so when i get to the hill fort part i'll open get some good views from there but this is a lovely area for like just getting out in the countryside and all the rest, bringing the dogs and everything else. Oh. Well, if I zoom in a bit, there you go. A couple of moo cows just out there in the distance. The sea. Lovely. It looks nice and calm from here, the sea. Well, it's a calm day, so yeah. Oh, the, the cow's looking at me now. You think, oh, what are you doing recording me for? Yeah. Oh, so. Oh. There used to be a bear out here on Lambert's Castle from about 1709 through to 19 about 1947 so yeah best part of 250 years so it'd have been a fair here and also like horse racing as well this would be a bit of a horse racing track so I said yeah an active area even in like during sort of more recent history so human activity going on here so it's not one of these places it was just like a iron hay gel fort and then nothing i said even in modern history it was a quite a place of activity yeah where if i was around it yeah so just behind me don't know if you can see there in the distance Another trig point. I keep forgetting I've recently bought that trig bagger book. Book where you can you know, list all the trig points in Dorset. Start jotting them down. So yeah. 
If I thought to bring that book, I could have recorded this trick point. Oh, well, not to worry, not to worry. Uh, the Wessex Ridrow Trail does come along here as well. Now, this is where we get the views. And we got a perfect day for it, seeing the views. This is Dorset. And I just, if I zoom in, that just over the last Pilsdon Pen. Uh, another Iron Age L4. Zoom back out. Don't zoom out too far, Dave. There we go. Back to normal. Yeah, so pills and pens just over there. Got a few hill forts around this area. Now, Dorset, back in the old Iron Age, it would have been the Oh, how do you pronounce it? From Durotrigian. I think that's how there, the Durotrigian tribe. I think it's pronounced something like that. So they would have been Dorset. And in what was modern day Devon, the Devon area, that that would have been the Dunnoni tribe. I think that's how it's pronounced. What I'll do is I'll put the names in the description so you guys you can see if you can work out how it's pronounced so the, yeah so very near to this area is the border between two tribes and that's why you've got quite a few hole forts in this area because obviously the two tribes close to each other uh, the potentially well, here we go there is a ditch between a couple of banks so uh, just coming towards the hill is the actual hill fort bit itself now yeah so these two tribes would have been sort of fighting potentially fighting over land sort of resources like food livestock that kind of thing Hence why there's probably quite a few sort of hill forts around here because like I said just over there it's Pilsden Pen and then like I said about a mile down the road where I'm going to next we've got Coney's Castle Oop, another, another Iron Age hill fort Yeah, there's quite a few around. Yeah, sort of just over there, down in the dip, is the main road. Well, I suppose the the main road between Lyme Regis, Harry, which is over that direction, and it goes off towards Crew Kern in that direction. I said the road goes down the hill. At the bottom is Marshwood. And if I was to keep going in this direction, I'm going now. If I was to keep going sort of down the hill in a pretty much straight line, I'd get to this little sort of village, well, hamlet, sort of called Fish Pond Bottom. Which sounds more like a subtropical disease than a than a like place name, so <laughs> wonder what's over here. Well, not much, just a few more trees and all the rest. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
bushes, birds are only not tree. Mm. Uh, so I'm guessing this is will this be remains oh uh yeah possibly the remains of one of the old earthen walls. Look, blinking brambles, they get everywhere. Horrible things. I mean, as you, as you can see, this area is quite a big area. Quite a big area. So that's just a little bit of Lambert's Castle. A little bit of a stroll round and all the rest. So, yeah, I mean, if you're in the area and you're interested in hell forts, yeah, you're kind of spoiled for choice. You know, you've got quite a few around there, so I'll definitely recommend doing the free. Thousand and Pen, Lambert's Castle, and Coney's Castle, because they're all pretty close together, you know, so you can very, very, very easily like drive from one to the other to the other and like have an explore. And I said make a Bit of a day of the free and all the rest. I must admit, I was just thinking to myself, what if the I've never really thought about this before, but what what if the three like Iron Age Hill forts, what if the three forts being close together? The communities that would have been sort of like living at each well, I don't know if communities constantly lived in these hill forts all year round but the communities at each hill fort considering how close the three are I reckon there must have been some kind of a family connection between the communities in the three hill forts yeah like the people that thought the community here uh, at Lambert's Castle they probably had like I don't know cousins over at Pills and Pan cousins over at Coney's Castle you know I reckon there must have been well I'm this is purely me guessing because I I don't know the history of it all but I wouldn't be at all surprised if there was some kind of strong family connection between the three communities. You know what I mean? Like sort of like cousins or something like that. You know what I mean? So yeah. But anyway guys, well actually um where's the sun over there, right? right can I twizzle around without the sun spoiling a view? Uh don't know if you can see much of the view behind me guys. Probably a bit too far away. But I mean, lovely view from here. I'd say Pills and Pens probably got better views than Lambert's Castle, but even Lambert's Castle got some good views, so yeah. But if you're into hill forts, I definitely recommend sort of coming here and uh, having a look around the three of them. Make a bit of a day of it, guys, yeah. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching and look forward to seeing you in the next one. And in the meantime, guys, the usual, stay safe. Take care and God bless.